How's everyone? Welcome back to Hawaiian Horology. And sorry if I've been away for a while. My studio is currently under construction, but I did get the call for the White Dial Omega Speedmaster. I guess um, it came out early March and this is late April here. And uh, they called me and they said um, if I wanted to put a deposit down, I would be on the next shipment. So it was a... Okay, so they emailed me on a Friday. I got back to them on a Saturday and I put down my deposit, 20% deposit to hold it. They said, oh yeah, you're going to be in the next shipment, which will be coming uh, sometime in May. But then Sunday, like midday, I got a call. They're like, you know what? We got a shipment the day before. And then if you want this one, you're going to have to buy it today or they're going to move on to the next person. So I was like, you know, what? I'll just take it today since I already put the deposit down. I went over there. I had a great experience at the AD and at the uh, the boutique. Um, They're very uh, friendly, very helpful. I mentioned that it was our anniversary coming up as we were leaving and she was like, hang on, I will be right back. She ran in the back, grabbed us a bottle of champagne in an Omega box, which was a great touch. You know, you're not getting that kind of service at other places, I don't think. But the one major problem with this uh, Speedmaster here is that there's something wrong with the, I guess, the chronometer hand that it doesn't... It's not resetting. Like, I stopped the chronometer. I'm pressing this button. It's not resetting. And I, I noticed that, like, maybe an hour or two after I purchased it, you know, I'm just kind of messing around, playing around with it. We're eating um, some Korean barbecue. I was trying to time how long the, uh, the meat should stay on, and it just wasn't resetting every time. So I was playing with it around the night before, the that same night, and on to the next day. So I emailed them and I was like, oh, something is wrong. I showed them a video of what was going on. And they got back to me like, oh, we're so sorry about that. We're going to take it for an exchange. So I'm going to drop it off today. And then they said mine, I guess the shipment I was waiting for, they'll give me a brand new one in the next shipment. So I was kind of disappointing that... Um, that I have to return it in this fashion, but I really appreciate the quick response. It wasn't like, oh, our watchmaker can come check it out and then we'll see where we go from here, which I think, I mean, like, let's say you got a Rolex and something was wrong with it. I'm pretty sure they're sending it back to the service station. They're not gonna give you a new one right off the bat because I think the demand is so high that um, the turnover I mean, they're not getting the same piece, you know, maybe next month, what I think. I mean, I'm not really sure, but they said, okay, we'll take it back. We'll just hold it until the next one comes and you can exchange it when our next shipment comes. So hopefully that next shipment comes soon and I can have a full review for you guys when my uh, studio is complete. My studio is not going to be complete uh, by then. So I may just have to do kind of another makeshift video like this, but... First impressions, awesome watch. Too bad it wasn't uh, working properly, but I really do appreciate how they're gonna take it back right away. And they're gonna give me another one in the next shipment. But thanks for again for watching another episode of Hawaiian Horology, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Shoots.